Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today the Bishop St. Martin of Tours. His life teaches us the importance of giving up something for Jesus. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, Make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. John. Chosen Lady, I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, Lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. For this is love, that you walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Such is the deceitful one and the antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we worked for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Please stand. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building, on the day when Lot left Sodom, fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. 
on that day someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you on that night, there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus said in the Gospel today, whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it. But whoever loses it will save it. Jesus is giving us a new perspective, a new way of looking at things that in God, giving up something is also gaining something. Tayo po madalas ay takot na takot to lose some things in our life. Madalas takot na takot tayong mawalan. We are afraid to give up. But Jesus reminds us today in our readings, unless you learn to lose some things in life, you will never gain life. Kapag hindi ka natutong bitawan yan, hindi mo naman makukuha din ang buhay. Kaya wag matakot minsan bumitaw. Wag matakot minsan mawalan sapagkat kapag nawalan ka, diyan may darating at ibibigay na mas mahalaga ang Panginoon. I remember one story of my mother. She celebrates today her birthday, so I remembered my mother today. One time, my mother was uh, telling a story to me. Sabi niya, Uy, alam mo, namit ko ulit itong tao na ito. And I know that person whom she met has hurt her. Alam ko yung taong kinakwento niya ay sinaktan siya at hindi naging mabuti sa kanya. So I said, so what did you do? Did you greet her? Or did you approach her? Or did she approach you? No, she said, I was the one who approached her. She was not looking at me, but I approached her. And I greeted her. Sabi ko sa kanya, hindi ba talo ka nun? Siya na ang nanakit sa'yo. <laughs> Ikaw pa ang lumapit sa kanya. And she said to me, wala naman na yun sa akin eh. Basta may peace of mind ako, okay na ako. Sometimes, you really have to give up even your pride and you will gain peace of mind. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is teaching us today that not every loss 
is a negative thing. Sometimes we need to lose something in order for us to gain something more important. Maybe you need to give up something so that you could save your family. Maybe you need to give up something so that you could save your marriage. Maybe you need to give up something in order to save your own faith. My dear brothers and sisters, not every loss is a negative thing in your life. Many times, giving up something for God means gaining everything. That is why in our first reading, in, our second let, in the second letter of St. John, St. John, the writer of this letter, was very grateful to the community because he said, you did not give up the commandments. You gave up many things for God, but by giving up many things for God, you are able to gain God. You are able to receive what God has preserved for you. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate St. Martin of Tours. And the most famous story of St. Martin of Tours that you see in his depiction was when he was still a soldier. According to tradition, St. Martin, when he was still a soldier, was riding his horse. And he encountered a beggar on the road. So what he did was to get down of his horse, from his horse, cut off his cloak into half and gave the other half of the cloak to the beggar. That evening, he had a vision, a dream, and he saw Jesus wearing his cloak. Jesus appeared to him wearing that piece of cloak he gave to the beggar. Only when he learned to give up his cloak did he encounter and gain Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us remember in God, giving up something is also gaining something. Amen. Please stand. At the end of time, God will send his angels to gather his chosen ones in his kingdom. As we pray for all human needs, we ask God that we may be found ready to face him on his return. For every petition, let us say, Lord, let your mercy be on us. Lord, let your mercy be on us. That the church may attract peoples and nations towards the way of salvation by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let your mercy be on us. That Christian believers may proclaim their faith in eternal life and realize the everlasting dimension of our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let your mercy be on us. That we may prepare ourselves for the coming of the kingdom by constantly living in truth honesty and charity let us pray to the lord lord let, let your, your mercy be on us that victims of oppression and abuses may find true healing and that they may finally attain justice freedom and peace let us pray to the lord lord let, let your, your mercy be on us 
that the dead may rise to the glory of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy, mercy be on us. us. Lord God, we do not know the hour of your coming, but we are certain that your love will never fail us. Keep us vigilant in hope, and may we welcome you now in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by the sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.